Good evening, everyone, and welcome for tonight's Girls Over. I'm, oh, I'm so excited for tonight because it's a bit different from our previous week's Girls Over. Uh, the last time we have, or the last few weeks, we have a sort of preachings and messages, but for tonight, it will be a bit different. If you remember the last time, we have a question and answer portion, but it's a bit different today because instead of me and Pastor M, we are going to answer some few questions. Um, it will be me that will be asking some questions to the... I have invited few of our disciples that will be joining with us tonight. And um, we prepared a question for you. These questions might be the questions you wanted to answer in your personal lives as well. And we pray and hope that everyone will be blessed for tonight's crossover. Alright, so without further ado... Let's go ahead and start this in a word of prayer first. So let's close our eyes and let's pray. Lord, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for your faithfulness. And we thank you, Lord God, for um, covering us with your holy and precious blood. Even, Lord God, for today, thank you that you are going to um, speak to us, Lord God. This will be a enjoyable yet a learning moment. We can apply, Lord God, through your word. You are going to um, Give us your word today and your grandmother gets in the house. May your name be blessed and may your name be glorified. Just name pray. Amen and amen. All right. So, good evening once again. And as I promised to you, I invited um, three of our disciples. I have few guests tonight and um, they will go in to represent a team single, team in relationship, and team marriage. So, um, for Team Single, um, can you introduce yourself? Good evening everyone, and this is Apple, and um, I'm one of the primary 12 of Pastor Atini. Um, I've been single for more than 6 years. Amen! Next! Maying gabi sa tanan. Um, ako dahi si Jay Sam, isa sa leader ni Pastor MJ, and in our relationship po, relationship for 31 months. Okay! Good job! And then? Hi everyone! Good evening! Um, Cheryl here. I've been married for more than four years. Alright! So thank you everyone for your um, for, for introducing yourself. So if you wonder why they introduced themselves, why we have Team Single, Team in Relationship, and Team Married, because um, our question for tonight, we'll have, we, we have prepared a set of questions for them. And we will going, they will going to answer based on their in their status or on based on their season that they're in. So, uh, para makarelate tong mga single, makarelate tong in relationship, and makarelate tong mga married nga mga uh, nga nagview, nag nagwatch or nag stream right now with us. Amen. So let's start this. Let's go ahead and start this. So I have prepared a um, few questions for you, and um, I hope that everybody that was listening with us will also be blessed and will also can also relate to our questions for tonight. Amen. So my first question, my first question to you is that how can you honor God in your season? Ang saan niya pag-honor si Lord? Um, kung single ka, how can you honor God? If in relationship ka, how can you honor God? And if married ka, how can you honor God? Amen. So let's go for team single first. How can I honor God during a season of uh, being a single? Well, um, set your priorities. You need to know. Um, you need to know um, what is your priorities. Okay. So honoring God is spending time with God. You need to. Um, you need to um, grow deeper in God. Um, even even if you're if you, even if you're single, you need to. To strengthen your relationship with God and um, how you can honor God is also to do the things that God wants you to do no and uh, in in honoring God in your life you need to um, you need to do the things the will of God in your life so how how would you know the will of God in your life well definitely through the Word of God by reading the Word of God he says in his word that um, whatever you ask will be given to you and if you will ask in prayer uh, to God that uh, whatever the things that God wants you to do God will going to reveal it to you through his word amen amen that's right how about for team in relationship how can you honor God um, in your season while you're in your relationship um 
how can I honor God during the relationship is being faithful and being pure. Yeah. So, and know your limits. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's the right point. Um, I believe because that's, that's a good point of Jason. Um, the best way that we can honor God is through our body. Um, as, as a single, as in a relationship, it's staying pure. It says in the Bible in 1 Corinthians 6, 19, nga, do, not, do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit that is in you? Mm. So you are not on your own, meaning our body is not our own. It's, it, it means that we should, the best way to honor God while we are still single and while we are in a relationship is to stay pure until we say I do to the person again that the Lord said to us. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, um, do, you, do you want to add something, Asam? Okay. That's all. Um... How about the team in relation? Uh, team marriage. How can you honor right. God? How can we honor God in the season of marriage? There's just five things that I wanted to discuss about. Very short. First is we. There's really a lot of things that we can. The way of honoring God through our marriage life for or through our married life. First is by loving each other. Of course, that's one of the greatest commandments that God taught us. Or, um what God wants us to do is to love each other. And then the second one is be faithful with each other. No matter what, you have to be faithful with each other. And next one is by building a family unit, which means that there are some couples that they can bear children. There are some that they can't, but definitely you're still a family, even if without kids. True. True. And yeah. And then fourth one is by growing more like Christ together. So it, you will not be, you, you cannot walk away from God's grace if you cannot really do what God wants you to do, most especially in your married life. And then fifth one is you do, you do not just bless each other, wife to husband, husband to wife, but you also bless other people through your marriage. Yeah, through your, through your life as a married couple. Is that right? Yes. yes. Also, um, allowing God to keep your marriage. That's a good thing. And I think that's the point of um, Cheryl. Uh, to sum it up, to allow God to keep their marriage life. Because one Amen. thing is to understand that marriage is not just a paper. Um, because some of, most of the people nowadays, they consider marriage nga papil ramana, magisi ramana, diba? But we need to understand that it's our agreement, dilit lang sa law, but it's our uh, it's honoring God that He will go into bind our marriage because remember, whatever God binds, no one can no one can separate that. So marriage is not just a paper, diba? It's, it's something that God binds us. Amen. 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 So, I hope that you are blessed with our first question. Wuna palang to. Now let's go on to our second question for tonight. My second question for you is that um, how do you maximize your time? based on the season that you are in so, or how what can you advise to those who's in the same season as you kung single ka so in relationship ka how can you use your time how can you maximize your time while you're still single while you're married or while you're in a relationship um sa pag-serve ni mo kadala kay Lord um how you can maximize your time uh, how i maximize my time um while I'm still single. So, um, I devote myself in uh, working for the kingdom of God. So, um, I've been, um, I've been, uh, I've been serving the Lord for many years. I've been serving His people. So, while you're still single, um, let's make it a point to our life that we will commit our lives to the Lord. Um, committing our lives to the Lord is not just knowing God that exists, but um, we're going to serve Him, to serve His, uh, to serve His people. Do um, do the things that um, that pleases the Lord. So, how we can maximize our time is to think of the noble things. No, think of uh, the wonderful things. No, in Philippians 4:8, um, it says in His Word that finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there's any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. 
So if you are in if you are in a season of being a single right now and none of these things that you are currently in, then disregard those things and um and um and reshuffle reshuffle uh your situation right now. If you're single, um uh try to rethink rethink of something that is noble. Think of something that is worthy to be praised. So yes. that's how I maximize my time being a single. Yeah, and to add that, um, single is the best time to serve the Lord. Kaya ano, wala kang responsibility. You don't have a kids. You don't have anything to do. It's really the best time for you to serve the Lord. Wala kayo na huna on pa. Maybe you might have bills, but it's not yet the milk, the diaper, and all those stuff. It's the best time for you to serve God. You have a lot of time yes. in the world to serve God. So single, let's go on and serve the Lord. Amen. No. So, how to maximize? Um, <laughs> depende, but for me, uh, dapat kayo ka sa imong priorities. Like, for example, if uh, you should um, put God first, no? Sa yeah. imong um, relationship, um, dapat sa imong uyab makasabot. Like, sa koa, there's no problem kay parehara ng duha mm. and muna unahol na ito ang ginopirmi kay siya man dapat ang center sa inyong relationship True. No, and by having um, like example devotional, time with God no, it will also bless your relationship oh, that's true and um, being in relationship is the best time for you both to grow the rock kay Lord, meaning Kamunduhan na grow the same time on na grow tara kay Lord together. That's the best time you can maximize your time. Nga. Well, in relationship mo, wala mo na, na grow in yung years being in a relationship. Nga nag serve mo kay Lord and then mas na grow mo tara kay Lord. Amen. Um, how about the um, married, um, sa mga married, uh, from Cheryl's point of view? Sa married people pas. You might think that it's very hard for you to maximize your time serving God. Kay, nagan kay kagunaw na o napakay work, na at the same time napakay kids, and then napakay bana ng atimanon or staying with each other. Like, um, there's really a lot of things that you you have to do. But then maximizing my time as a married um, woman is to know your priorities very well you have to know which one is top which one is bottom um i'm not saying that my family is not my priority but you should know that god is your first priority because he will take care of the rest if you know that god is your priority you you know you are actually in the good hands even if there's a lot of losses from you nga dili ka maka take care sa imo ang kids or sa imong work but still if you if you put God as your first priority, God will take care of the rest. Amen. That's right. And I believe for those who are married, the best thing we need to do is time management. That's the key word. Really, time management. Um, di ba? If we, kung gusto, maraming paraan, pero kung ayaw, maraming dahilan. So we can really manage our time if we really wanted to serve the Lord. That's a good point. Good job to, every, to the three of you. Now let's go on to the third question that we have tonight, and I want the married team to answer first. That will be represented by Cheryl. So, why serving God based in the season you are in is important. Meaning, when I'm dancing, when I'm serving Lord, maskin nga married na ka or maskin relationship na ka, it's it's connected with each other. But the question, the main point here is, how important is man? Nga, Pwede man ang tanga, your, your family is your priority. Kaya nabi kayo family, nga nauna kong mani mo si Lord. So why it is important? So let's go on to Cheryl first. Okay. Um, why serving God is important based on the season that you are in, it's because if you will just, if you will just have a married life, having trust and love to each other, it's very fragile. It can be broken anytime. Ooh. But if you serve God, you know that God is the glue that stick that stick you both, husband and wife. No matter what happened, if you know that God is your is the one who holds your marriage, 
you would do everything for God and God will do everything for your marriage. That's very yes. important in serving God. The Lord nagbind the married life. Amen. Yeah, and yes. and that's right. That's that's the good point. Ah, uh, si Lord mo yung mag mag speak niya together that no one can break you because married. Di ba na di ba na excuse yung Christian ka? Dilek ta excuse sa mga temptation and all. But because God bind us together, I believe God will going to 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 hold us as well. Amen. How about uh, as a single? Um, why serving God based in the season that you are in is very important. Well, um, I believe this is the very best platform that you serve the Lord while you're yeah. still single. Correct. Um, the reason for that it's it's the best time. It's because this is the time if you are the if you're the only person that is um that is uh that, I mean who believes God. This is the best time that you reach out to your family, you yeah. reach out to your parents. You reach out to your classmates. If you're working, this is the best time that um, you you reach out to your colleagues. It's because you're single. You don't have uh, you don't have responsibility. You own your time, right? So this is really the best season uh, that I mean. This is really the best season that we serve the Lord while we are still single. We can maximize everything Correct. because we own our time. Yes, you own. You really own your time. Well, I'm Time. It's really different when you're married, but yeah, that is correct. You can maximize your time anytime. Go single, paka. How about time when you're in your relationship? Um, it is so important um, to serve God while in your in a relationship. Like first is sa inyong relationship dapat si God ang nasa center. Then minutes and siya. Okay, at least if you're ma- if magminyo na mo, at least two of you is already serving God. Binalisod, and there's a blessing serving God while in a relationship. And diya pa na nasa yung word na always seek Him first, no, and all things should be added. So mo na siya dapat um important kay na di kalimtan kay ang gino uh, ang kanang kwan ang sudagan. Ang kanan sa tanan. So, Amen. better na practice na daan. Yeah. Because it's so good pa kaysa kuhan, diba? At least, pag, pag minyo, together, kaya po naman mag-serve na God and more blessing pa yun noon. Mona, that's right, that's right. Because, if you if you happen to kanang be in a relationship mo God na someone na nag-serve kay Lord, Dili na yung isyo ang mag-serve kay Lord. Even pa mo, married pa mo, dili na yung isyo sa inyo ang una. Kung ninyo si Lord, dili na yung isyo kahit tungod na practice. Muna kayo ng Jason, muna practice ang daan kaysa uyab pa lang mo, nag-serve naman mo ni Lord together. That's the hard thing when you serve, uh, when you uh, marry or you have someone na wala nag-serve kay Lord. It's really a struggle. Amen? And to me, yeah. I believe it doesn't really matter kung unsa ka nga season. When we want to serve God, that should be kanang walay hindrances na to. Masin pag single ka, masin pag in relationship ka, or you're married. If you really wanted to serve God, walay makapapugong sa imo a. Ah. Imam na yeah. maskin baka, maskin bagyo, walay makapugong sa ato a ah, para magserve kay Lord. Amen. 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 Now let's go to our fourth question for tonight. So why God enter in your relationship sa relation sa kanang nai sa in relationship at sa mga married? Or sa life as a single. Ngano kailangan man si Lord and center sa life ni mo? Can we go on first to the, to the in relationship? Kaya Jaysa, why God should be the center in your relationship? Uh, it's just connected with your answer earlier. Ngano ang kailangan man nga si Lord ang center sa inyo ang duha? Um, dapat center si God sa inyong relationship kay. If not, ang temptation dali na kaya ka matintal. Right. And if God's at center, si God's in your relationship. Um, the more mo, no, the more mo together mo grow. Um, the more niya masabtan nung sa importante ang sa di pa mag sa di pa minyo kabaw ka on sa yung priorities. Yes. On sa yung kapat pambuhaton and yeah, there's a blessing sa no sa God. Like if imo unahon ang ginoo, mas kipag di man excuse na. Nakayuya, di ka ka-serve sa Gino, but 
dapat na yun. If makayab ka, mas masure pa kasi hino. Sa mga makayab ka, what perfect na yun mo, Devo. Dili na. Sa unang wala kay uyab. Dili perfect na yun mo. Kaya na kay uyab. Dapat tos may inspired ako. That's right. In relationship, mong good. That's katangkina ni Jaysa. When you are in a relationship, mas prone ka in the temptation. But if God is the center in your relationship, you are too focused on God. Uh, mahimo kang mm -hmm. focus sa mga butang uh, dapat din niya focusan because si Lord man ang mong focus. Kabatay ka sa camera. Um, when you focus something in a camera, ma-blurred ang uban. Kalabo na ng mga DSLR. Di ba man you set something, when you focus something, aganahan ka siya ra ma-focus and then the rest is blurred. The rest of, um, the rest of your relationship, mahimo blurred. Ang mga issue about jealousy, mahimo blurred mga insecurities, any issue about your relationship, it will become blurred. Kaya nakafocus mo sa inyong relationship with si Lord, man. You're not too focused, you're not too clingy girlfriend, you're not too clingy boyfriend. Nga, asa naman ka, di ba? Burn na iyo, nag-eat na iyo. Because you know your focus, si Lord niyong focus. I mean, it doesn't, it, it is not uh, It is not wrong na mag-text-text mag mo. What I'm trying to say is, ka nang mga pabebe na kayo ba? mga dilit na mga ka ay dilit na siya mga unnecessary things because you're too focused on serving God. That's right. How about sa mga single? Are you single? Um, why God should be the center in your relationship? Being a single? Yeah. Um, well, being a single, temptations is all over the place. A lot of things could really take your time. You mean while you? Kapo? Is it about the temptation? I mean, um, a lot of things could really take your time. Let's say, for example, if if you're single, um, you can uh, a lot of things can really grab your time. You can uh, you can go ahead and enjoy the world. And um, so, if you are if God is the center of your life, being a single, then your priority is God yeah. on top of everything. So, um, if you set if you set as God as the center of your life, you know where to go. True. If 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 God is not is not the is not the center of your life, the thing is you're all over the place. You don't know what what the what's the next thing that you're gonna do. You you don't even know um, after this what will happen. You don't know what what's the next step if God is not the center of your of your life being a single. But if God is is the center of your life while you are still single, um everything is in order in your life. You know what will happen next. You know what we're gonna do. You know what's the plan of God. It's because He is the center of your life. Yes. Yeah. I think the point of Apple is naka in order in mo life ba. You know where are you going. Um. You you're not like anang bisan bisan sa uban nga bisang asa lang ka kung ah ready to mingle wherever you are. Pwede lang ka mingle because you have you have things to do. You are focused on the things you're about to do. Nai, nai, naka, nakabawo ka nga, nai-panong stress yung mulay, and you have things to follow that you can stress. Yes. And I believe to those who are single, I've shared it to one of our crossover, nga marriage is not our goal, Jesus is. Nga, di din na na itong goal, nga mag-married lang ta. Kung mm. atong goal sa Jesus, I believe marriage will just going to follow. Because first of all, imong mong gigol nga, di din na ka mag-minyo, but yung mong gigol nga si Lord na as yung mong kaminyo on. Or before ka mag-married, na anas Lord sa yung life. Amen? Because I believe yes. you can marry every anyone, uh, but you can, but you, but not everyone can serve the Lord with you. Amen. So it's important, nga, as a single, we need to maximize our time. How about to those in uh, sa married, sa married uh, team or kay Cheryl nga point of view? All right. Um, nanong si God ang imo ang center sa imo ang married life? It's because. The very most important ingredient of having a satisfying and long relationship with your husband and or with your wife is to is for you to put God as the center of your relationship. Why? Because if dili si God ang centro sa mong relationship, as far as Apple said and Jason said, you are really prone to temptation. Temptation is everywhere. And aside from that, you would see each other flaws. Na kung unsay masayup sa isa, dali ra kay ka, dali ra ka siguro mo buto or dali ra ka ma discourage, mm. dali ra ka mag ma, murag dali ra jud mo fade imong trust. Your trust can be easily broken pag naalay mistake imo ang imo ang bana or imo asawa mm. and then at the same time ang love is 
will easily be faded. Mawala ragid siya anytime. Anytime during the day, mawala sure. ang love. But if you know nga, ang main ingredient ni mo anak nga luto to have a satisfying and long relationship with your husband and with your wife is to put God as the center because God is actually the reason why you as a married couple stay together. It's the, it's, it's like the one that I said earlier. He, he holds your relationship is like a glue that sticks you and to, together with your husband or together with your wife. So it's very important. Amen. So I think we are already resolved, but as a, as a, as a single and as a married or whether we're in a relationship, we still, we will put God at the center of our life. And our next question, I'd like to go first to Jason because this is most likely to put on pressure. Amen. Um, my next question is, how do you handle pressure? When I say pressure because um, most likely ngay pressure ni kada mga natural relationship, uh, the pressure of the people asking you um, when to marry, if you don't have especially if you're in the marrying age and you you already have a good job, a good salary, um, let's just gonna put that one in consideration. And then, mm. um, how do you handle pressure? If, if you have also some mga nag, nag stream with us right now, maybe you can ka na yung nilang kaunginyo na mo. Amen? Asahin, so, ma-pressure ka. So, as a, as a person in relationship, how do you handle pressure? Um, para <laughs> My pressure. Um, uh, but yeah. uh, especially if you ka, um, unsa pa mong kaya, if ready na bagyud ka, okay. When musud na ka ng kaminyon, um, it would be different, no? Uh, uh, mga gastuhon, um, no, mga uh, yeah. uh, yeah. If musud mo na, okay, tungo kina pressure ka and financially not stable, um, wala kay tarong pa work, then kay nagminyo lang mo kay daghan na nagingon, um, mm. ambot lang ako mo unsa mo sa kami yun. If one week raba mo okay, and after, pero para sa ako, no. Um, the reason na uh, wala pa wala pa ko anak sad although mag 27 ako um ang akong goal sa akong life is 30 pa ko minya okay uh, and daghan pa ko gusto buato na like ma prepare kit ba like if mag na um at least stable na and kay okay, mingon ng uban na 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 ay blessing sa kami yun yeah, wala man ay problema ng blessings kami yun but ang um, pangutana is ready na po ba ka no? to, um, to take the ano, uh, the journey no? mo, mo at the most na kami yun and sa, sa secret set <laughs> um, wala, wala pa sad na saya ang saya po kay napapod siya yung lain plans no? um, yeah. and kasabot sa Japan ko and ako sad no food ready and di man ka dapat magpada sa pressure kay di man sila ang magminyo true mm, true ang dili pud sila ang maglisod di ba so right. better na ko ano na my right right time ang tanan di ba okay ko man in god's time and mo na if dapat sa if manguyab ka dapat sure na sad ka di ba okay para wait pressure ba ah yeah, okay og di pa ka sure uh, Wala ng ako uh, wala mong kuya lang kita nita sa so, so if ko na yun paneho na yun may bawaan masaya namin yun no bakit pa priorities na dapat ni mong bawatan sa so no pressure Amen. tana that's right I think that's true kani ka that's what it says banga kanang dili tino od nga balag saging basta labi when you go into a relationship, you really need to provide your family. So I think the point of JSAM is that we, it doesn't matter whatever the pressure, the people who are going to kanang ma pressure, pressure kanila when to get married. The important thing is when you are ready, you have you're responsible enough to feed your family. And amen. Um, and you need to provide not just their needs, also their wants as a father, amen. It's sad thing for you because provide the, the wants of your kids, amen. So yeah, I think the point of Jason is that enter when you are ready and then enter when you're responsible enough to handle the family. 
Amen. Um, so single, I believe um, when you are single, it's for a uh, well, siguro ka ng, ka ng relationship age na ka or marrying age na ka and you're still single, uh, people are gonna put pressure on you nga kasi kung mga kamanguyab, kasi kung mga kamanguminyo, so how do you handle, hand, handle pressure? Guys, if definitely you are in a marrying age, well, a lot of people already put pressure on you. Your family, your friends, um, um, anyone would really ask you, um, what's your plan? Tano ba ni mo nga mag forever kang a single? Uh, may mo kang ka nang mag bangkay na lang ka. But, um, single out there who's also, um, like me, no? Um, late 20s, um, you have to, you have to, um, remind yourself na not to be pressured. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so good na na maguwat ka for so long then to get married in a rush and then your life will become miserable marry wrong marry wrong and your life will gonna be miserable because you're in the wrong person so kind of wait magwait ta sa plan ni lord and just gra- can, just always remember the promises of god in your life no kung um, hold on to the promises of god well Say, kung kwan pa bitaw, kung kwan pa nila is si um, Abram or si si Sarah. They've been uh, si Lord kay was able to give them uh, the the thing that really they wanted to do, they wanted to have. So if ikaw single, um, you you really wishes to um, to get married, to be in a relationship, then just wait for the will of God. Surely it will come. So to handle pressure, always be reminded with the promises of God. As a Amen. Amen. How about sa merit? Uh, what are right, your pressures sa merit? Uh, pressures in handling your merit life. Actually, pas no based sa mga seasons no in a relationship in single feeling ako ang ang being married is uh, has a lot of pressures. Kana I mean pressure. Kana kung baga na adin ha ang murag mo ni reason aside from temptation pressure is the the key nga magbuwag ang magtiayon why it's because first pressure is for kanang to think of your future on saon mo pagpakaon sa imong anak saon mo pagpasikla sa imong anak on saon mo pag sustain sa inyong everyday living yeah. no it's very hard to think of all of those stuff na naa kay ministry and then at the same time naa kay work so you have to balance everything there's really a lot of pressure when it comes to thinking of your future there's a lot of women out there na they're so depressed. It's because of they don't know what their what 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 God plans for their family, and that's actually the reason why we have to read the Word of God. And then at the same time, pressure nga unsaon niyo pag last together, unsaon niyo nga dili magbulag nga naaman mo kanya kanya opinion, naaman kanya kanya batasan, na dili ni mo dili ni mo ma ma fake. Kay you have to deal with it every day. You just really have to accept it, and at the same time, how will you handle pressure? Is that you should know nga dili ikaw ang gahos in your relationship. You should know nga you are married to glorify God, and then God will actually um, give you ideas. And most especially, God has a lot of plans for your married uh, married life and for your family. And then, if you know that, if you hold that word at mga plano sa ni God sa mo ang life. You will never be, you will never go wrong. I mean, naa ang pressure, but kabalok ka mo handle. Yeah. So, meaning, to sum it up, no, to tanan nga si Ton, uh, to handle pressure, we should be at peace, dara kay Lord. Amen. At peace ka, masing mag-single ka, wala kaya peace, peaceful in your heart, because you know that God is preparing somebody for you. And you should ka, at peace ka nga, wala ka gandali, because you know that God prepared the right time for you to get married. And if you're mm. married, at least, ka, whatever your future is, the Lord and I know your future. Amen. Amen. And, and to, to connect with that, uh, with our six, uh, atong ika sixth na question for tonight. So, um, because as we have discussed about pressure, so why right timing to, trans- to, to transition from, for example, for Apple as a single? Ano yung tantiman nga, right time ni mo, right time ka mo sol in the relationship, or uh, in connection to answering this, mga ganina, ano kailangan man right time ka nga musulod into a married life. And yeah, why right time in transitioning or kasi before ka 
before ka nag-inyo, ano importante man nga, right timing ka na, or kanang sa time ni Lord ka na, ni mo na siya buhaton. So, uh, for Apple, um, right timing is very important. It's because, um, if you, um, if you are single and then you transition to being in a relationship, if you are not in the right timing, um, gubot. Gubot yeah. kayo. Your, um, imong responsibilities ka nang magkatibulaag, no? Um, especially ikaw, if you are a person na you support your family. Mm. So, if you transition from being a single to being in a re- relationship, of course, when you are in a relationship, you also give. You yeah. Yeah. In yeah. a relationship, it, ha- it has to be give and take. So, if you are a single and you support your family and you are not in the right timing, transition to being, a, being in a relationship, the thing is, Imo ang responsibility is maguba. Imo ang imong priorities is maguba. If you are not in the right timing, and if you are on the right timing, you can see that through the transition stage, you can see that there is miracle from God. Because God will gonna work through the transition stage. So if dili si Lord ang dili pa right time ni Lord, so dili pa will ni Lord, we're not going to enter the relationship because it will going to. Uh, magalandra kasi yung mga priorities. Amen. If delicate feel ni Lord, if it's a good time ni Lord, listen kayo ba si Lord ang mokuha, Anna. Amen. So let's just gonna wait for God. Amen. For the right time. So how about Jason? Why is it important thing a right timing? Aside from what you have cited that earlier about um being kanang um responsible enough to handle family, nga nang kailangan right time man before we enter married life. Um, right time. Um, Walay squad, kung sa pa, walay may laki na mong dali-dali. Okay, kung magpalpan ang dali is ilad. Ilad. Yeah. Muna, if magdali-dali ka kami yun and di pa ka ready, ah, uh, okay. So, dapat may timing the transition from being in a relationship to a married life. Kailangan, kabalo ka, want to do it. Amen. Dili lang ka, Amen. Tulad sa relate sa married life. Amen. How about Cheryl? Why as married? Ito nakas na married naman ka. Um, kung say what are the lessons that or imo na katunan? Yung kailan ang pagtanti kayo ang transition. Right time to transition. Um, we've been together sa ako ang husband no um girlfriend and boyfriend for up until now mga I guess it's thirteen years or twelve years. Twelve years. If I'm not mistaken, and we just got married for four years. So, sa mga single out there, shout out. Ayaw jud mo pagdali dali. Wait for God's timing. It's because I believe nga promotion actually comes after you are prepared. So God will prepare you to transition from one season to another. Um, dili katagaan sa ginoo of one thing that God desire uh, you desire in your heart if you are not if God see you that you are not prepared yet so better yet you need to be prepared equipped with the word of God ayo pangita ang mga guapo ayo pangita ang mga dato no no you mm-hmm. have to look for the right man and you how will you no no I, I mean not look but wait for the right man that God has prepared for you it's because curse will actually in your relationship, na ajud na curse, okay? Kung dili dili iya sa ginoo in yung relationship, he will and he will end it anytime. He will do everything just for you to be grabbed to that person. So waiting for the right timing. If you are in a relationship, ayo pagdali dali. Don't engage with premarital sex because blessings is not there. If if and if you go in a relationship, don't think you have to change your principle. Principle nga dili ka mag mag in ito relationship ra kay because of peer pressure. But mainly yeah. gusto ka mag minyo. It's because mo na ang iya sa ginuo sa imo, mo na ang plano sa ginuo sa imo, and at the same time mo na makapabless or mo na way nga mabless ka ni Lord, mabless ka ni Lord sa imo ang life. Amen. You have to really wait for the right time. That is right. Right timing is very important. Managiyon sa Bible no sa Ecclesiastes um, 3:11 I think nga he has made everything beautiful in its time. So kaya right timing ni Lord kay kung pangyuni Cheryl ba um 
pwede nga kwa na ni Lord sa imo ah uh, if they gonna will ni Lord di for right time ni Lord God will gonna take it mm. away from you Amen. you and it will be painful if the Lord na makuha na amen. amen and yeah it will going to have uh, I think ang point ni Cheryl is kanang uh, mabot ang mga time ba nga ma, ma, um, unnecessary or pregnancy nga delete 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 dili, 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 dili pa right time delete pa mm-hmm. mga things ba nga dili niya mag desire at the first place but because wala ni mo gipaabot ang right timing and right intention ni Lord nagpakita mo mm-hmm. nga Though mm. you might be that person right now, nga, you might commit that mistake in the past because you did not um wala to nagipaabot si Lord, wala to ipaabot ang right timing ni Lord. But I believe we can still change it in the near future. Dagan baka future decision making that you you need to make and make sure nga this time na naka sa right time before you make the decision. Amen. Before you do the transition. Amen. 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 And we are down to the last two questions that we have for tonight. So, uh, next question I have for you is that um, I think you have mentioned this one earlier and um, as we all know, as a human, we are prone to temptation. We are not exempted to that, not because we are Christian, amen? But we are all human and prone to temptation. So, how do you handle temptation um, as, a, as a single? How do you handle temptation to the world? Um, it could be a... Uh, it could be... Form of temptation, a person in relationship. How can you handle temptation? And as a married couple, so Apo, how do you handle temptation? How do I handle temptation? Is um, you have to remember that um, your body is the temple of God. Anything that um, anything that you do to your body, anything that um, uh, I mean, anything that. Uh, you're going to sana bitang anything ay mong ibuhat sa imong body and it, it will cause nga nga nalain lain din na sa tubangan sa gino so unsa man nimo paghandol sa temptation is resist if you see that temptation is coming dili na ka kinahanglan itan-awon pa jud nimo nga uy ni temptation do be sulayan na no there's no need you have to kanang kinahanglan na nimo i-back out kay you're just human Definitely, yeah. you're just human. Um, anytime, pwede ka madala if ka nang, if, if, i-allow ni mo yung self. Yeah. If, allow ni mo yung self na mo go into temptation. But if you see that temptation is coming, then ayaw na pagkuduha at trust na, release, at trust, back out, and then you're free. So, wala na. Yeah. Temptation is not something na pwede mo tilawan. Big point. Kung mas ba na siya, then dili ba? It's something that you need to mm. run away from. Yes, it's not sa mga single. Tanawa na ako po kung pwede ba niyo sa ingon sila. Uh, ingon sila, how can you daw be in a relationship kung wala ka kailan sa tao? Kailangan nyo mo testingan. But don't you know, doing that, you are prone to temptation. Because you, you are prone to temptation. Why? With the example, if temptation comes, resist, run from it. Because we are just a human being. Dili ta kuan. We are incapable of, of handling that temptation. And remember, temptation is not a sin until you do it. Amen. Why temptation is coming? Amen. How to sa in relationship? How do you handle temptation? How to handle temptation is kuan. Dapat kebao ka unsay sakto o dili kay di na mo bata po si mo. Um, uyab and dapat sad in everyday sa imong life is ko ano magunahan ni Mr. Lord kay if imong relationship dasi gino dili sa digon then easier kay kay attempt sa kaaway no and if kabaw lang yung gaon sa sakto dili di gud ni mo buhaton ng dili mayo kay and, and sa pa if if tinod na yun na nangalag sa gino then mahalok sa gamuhin mo yung saya, di ba? Yeah, that's right. It's always your inside. I'm afraid to do those things na mag-dump niyo ko. Pero di ba, the patient is not a seat. Kung nang nang kwan dalak na namin mo siya kung hindi ka wait. It's your inside. You won't do those temptations. Kung nang 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 Team Merit. Merit. I think your your audio is um not not commute. Okay, <laughs> all right. So there's one true about marriage. It's never perfect. 
walay bisakin sa sa kalibutan ang na ay perfect marriage. But temptation is everywhere. Temptation is actually what you like to do yeah. most. Dili ka feed sa kaaway o dili ka ganahan. Kaya di man siya kamupaa. Yeah. Amen? So, shout out sa mga married couple out there who is watching and salute to all of you. Because being, being married is never, is I think the very hardest season among all. You have to maintain to be pure. Amen? Um, how will you be able to handle temptation? You just have to read the Word of God. Most especially in Romans 8, 6, it says there, The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the Spirit is life and peace. So you just have to choose. Curse over blessings, peace over death, or, I mean life over death. You have to choose. If you bite that temptation, if you fall into temptation, then expect that your life will no longer be the same as what God plans it to be. And yeah. just feed, feed your mind because everything comes from your mind. That's if right. na gisi, if na something uh, wala sa imong husband or wala sa imo ang wife, feed your mind with God's word. Na you are not married because of lust, yeah, or whatever it is, but. God can suffice everything that you need, and if you have that in mind, you have filled your heart with the uh, with the Word of God and with the presence of God. You will never fall into temptation because you know how to resist it. You know na mas dako ang ginoo kaysa sa temptation ngayon mong diyan That's right. I think the point of Cheryl also is for those who are in, in long distance relationship. Yung pasabot yes. na when you are uh, we remain pure. Especially if you're long in a relationship with your partner, you need to remain pure and um, you need to resist those temptation. And also, when you the Bible, bang at ang pinaka greatest example nandito is Jesus because in Hebrews 4:15 it says right there nga, but he was a, but he will have one who was tempted in every way that we are yet was without sin. Natam si Je- ikapila gitam si Jesus, but wala siya nakasala. It could be nga itam na kaaway. The enemy will going to give us bait. Matagyan ni Cheryl nga if itagaan ka something sa enemy nga di ka niya something nga di mo ganahan. At the enemy mo gonna give you bait. Ang bait sa enemy mo ka na something nga ganahan ka. Amen? He will not going to feed you something that you don't like or he will not going to tempt you something that you don't like. That's why you need to know nga ang enemy mo tula yun na sa imo ah. And in connection to the answer of Apple, you need to run from it. Resist it. Amen? Are you there? And to focus God's in relationship uh, to the answer of Jason, na mal serve lang ako Lord. You need to focus on serving God. Um, yeah. Because we're serving God, and we know that kabuka si mong focus, makarisis ka sa temptation. Amen. And yeah. I think before we, uh, this is the last question I have for you tonight. And um, just to give an insight to our, to our viewers who's watching, I want to ask you. Um, as a single, as a person in a relationship, and as a married couple, I believe nga, from time to time, you always talk to your pastors, to your leader. Of course, that is me and Pastor MJ. What is your greatest or unforgettable encouragement or reminder or impartation you receive from your pastor relating to your status or to your season? Or as a single, what is your kanang as something that you don't want to remind you of your pastor, you impart to you? As a person in a relationship, as a person in marriage, in a, in a married la, in a married status or in a marriage life, what can you? Kung say mo something ani mo malimtan, ni mo na learn. Say mo ang say mo leaders, say mo pastor, Apple. Um, with Pastor MJ and Pastor Tini, there's um, a lot of things that um, I've learned from them from time to time. No, they always tell me a lot of things about me being a single. Uh, one thing that um did you know malimtan is to have an accountability yeah. sa um sometimes or most of the times as human you will misinterpret it ngayon nga makaingon makaingon ka nga kanang this is my life kinanan sa ko enjoy tiguang na ko kinanan ko may nani nani but then you will you will realize in the end that all that they want from you uh, all that they want for you is a life na 
Give plan ni Lord, say mo ah. So if you are accountable to your pastor, to your leaders, you will tell them everything na abay mag-yap ni mo, na abay mag-chat-chat ni mo, na abay ka na magparamdam ni mo, na abay maghato-hato ni mo. Flowers, chocolate, then na na And the moment that ka na, the moment na imo ng buhaton, um, you will you will feel the release. It's because makita ni mo nga, there is guidance. Um, makita ni mo that there is supervision, na ay na ay na ay kwan ba nga kanang they will know what's going on with your life emotional parts sa imong life makita and makabalo sila what's going on from there they know unsa ang kanila pagampo unsa yung mga areas nga kinahanglan ka ampuan unsa nga may areas it's because presa gani na temptation is everywhere so if ever wala tay paluyuhan sa pagampo sa tong mga leaders sa to ang mga pastors then we will definitely fall into temptation So, kana gyud nagit ta accountability. More jud na ako nga lang yeah. sa accountability and then wait, wait to yeah. wait for the right time. That's right. That's great. That's great to know. Ha, sa kids ta for the relationship. But in the sure of the those who's watching as right. Um, ang di na ko mo ta ni pastor. Um, for ka mo sugdog um biyabuyab uh, make sure na kuan una eskwela and but as i done is as i saw if manguyab uh, make sure na imo nang minyuan kay what's the point of kuan daw manguyab ka if dili gyud pa ni mo minyuan yeah stay pure but moto um most na ang what's the point of manguyab if pakigkuan Just right. 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 So, that's what I'm going to marry partner. Na yun. Amen. So, no trial and error. Amen. Amen. How about you, Sharon? Um, I would like to um, take this opportunity to thank my leaders, no? especially kay Pastor Atini and Pastor MJ. They actually, aside from God, they're really the ones who push us in getting married. And I thank you so much. That was way back 2015. And Pastor said nga, di man ka magminyo, nga, di man pasabot ang magminyo ka, kailangan bunga yung wedding. You just have to have God to be the center to seal that marriage. And I was the person before, based on my experience, I don't believe in marriage. Because I came from a broken family. Every Everyone that I see, But not including my my grandma and my grandfather. But everyone that I see, um, they're all broken. They are they're coming from a broken family. So I don't really believe in marriage. But God changed my heart through my leaders, to these beautiful and handsome leaders. No, they have encouraged me that there's blessings. There's an overflowing blessings Amen. when when you are uh, when you both decided to get married. So Amen. for those couple out there na wala pa na minyo, I would highly encourage you na to grab the opportunity nga na magminyo. Ayaw kabala ka sa finance or something, but God will actually give you all the things that you need. Amen. This is just really what we need. Isilyo sa ginoo ang ato ang married life um, because this is what He wants for us. And there's one thing that I cannot forget sa ilaas ako mga pastors. Um, love is not a feeling; it's a yes. choice. Yes. And then I, I always and always think of that because there's always a, an always a point in your life, na magdoubt ka sa imo ang love, like sa imo husband, mag magdoubt ka kung love ba kaniya or magdoubt ka ng love pa ba ni mo siya. True. Always remember na it's not about what you feel; it's about choosing to love that person over and over every day. To the help of God. That's yeah. right. And I, I, it's so funny. I run to a, I run to um, I, I, I forgot. Asa na ko sa nakita. Ningo sila pa magaduga yun daw mo magmarried. Bura na lang daw mo ang photo ganti. I was laughing so, I was laughing so hard because it's, I mean, it's, it's just a choice of seeing that person. Nga love gap po ni mo siya. Mas magaduga yun mo. Muna kaya makita naman mo mga flaws uh, every day, but still you choose the person all over again. In Kasharil, because um, I was in the church, nga, I was in the church, I Lord before I was married. That's right. Um, um, you have a lot of fears. I believe a lot of 
of you. Kamakita niyo mo sa world, the world is so broken. Amen. You might see everybody si Mukwan is so broken family. Gikan sa lahi ang mama, lahi ang papa. But ayo ka look ba mo musulod sa kami niyo on it. Sure ka nga si Lord ang ang nagtawag, ang si Lord ang nag ang ang gahatag ang nga person sa imo ah. Because if, if it's coming from God, God will going to bind you. Amen. And I believe as you serve God together, as you continually devote yourself, your relationship to God, God will going to bind your marriage together. Amen. 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 I believe um I our single and our um in relationship and katong mga married nga nag, who's, who's watching us right now have learned a lot. But before we go for tonight, I want to I'll ask you for your last word. Um, last encouragement or last thing that you wanted to say or to encourage or to impart to our viewers this evening. So let's start for the single. Um, Apple, what can you advise or impart to those who are uh, waiting, um, like you, and I've watched that karon? What can you say to them or what can you encourage them? Um, for those who are single out there, um, get the promise from God. Get the promise from God. Um, just wait. Just wait. Don't feel. Don't feel the pressure. Whatever the world is throwing at you, that's not true. Wait for the. Wait for the. Wait for the plan of God in your life. No rush, and don't be pressured with your age, especially if you are already in your thirties or late twenties or even over thirties. Don't feel the pressure, because um, if. God is planning something for you. It will surely. I mean, because God is planning something for you, it will surely happen. Amen. You just have to. You just have to keep on trusting and believing that God is at work in our lives. Amen. That's right. Thank you so much for that, Apple. To those who are single, keep on waiting. God prepared something great for you. Amen. Amen. We don't just. Um, we don't. We don't just grab. We can say available. But we pray for the best. We're waiting for God's Amen. best. Not the mga God's best. Ngayon yeah. Adam si Lord sa toa. Hapot sa in relationship. What can you encourage them, Sam? What can you um for you much for them? The those relationship. So in a relationship, um, really, kailangan or di niyo kailangan magdali dali. Um, like, dakan namin yung magminyo. No need to rush things kay dapat kay bow count sa inyo ang priorities sa inyong kinabuhi and before ka musod sa relationship sa dapat um, same sa inyong girlfriend kay as with experience o na lisod kayo if you're not the same in the same page bitaw uh, and dapat hindi ka magdali kayo man kayo dapat dali ano age um, okay it's just a number diba yeah Amen. That's right. So, um, yeah. Um, what did Jay say? Is we need to make sure nga kana um, before we get into marriage, sa mga na sa mga relationship, um, you don't dila kamo sa because you're pressured, but you enter into a marriage life and you are ready. Not in a, not in a rush, not in a hurry. Amen. And um, lastly, Cheryl, what can you advise to those uh, merit who na uh, view it and watch over us right now? What can you tell them? Alright, sa mga married couple no, na nag-watch na to, karon, to those who are streaming, um, always remember that your married life will always be not perfect, but you will find God as perfect holding your relationship. So, ayaw mo give up. Mone pinaka key. Ayaw mo give up. If ever you're tired, you're depressed, ayaw pagpatoxic sa inyo ang married life. Enjoy your married life. May it be sa long distance mo or kauban mo. But if you are long distance or even kauban mo sa, I mean, you are together with your husband or wife right now, take that opportunity to have a satisfying marriage life. Kanang, ayaw mo give up. Kay, there's Always a great future that lies ahead. Manang pili mo if you are that person who fell into temptation, I I would highly advise that you cut it out. There's no blessing in that. You have to stick. Um, this is just one technique that I wanted to share to you about. In order for you to be faithful with your partners or with your with your husband or with your wife, you need to know how to be faithful to God first. True. If you 
you you know how to how to be faithful to God and it's very easy for you to be faithful with your husband though you're not perfect you're still temptation you still has a lot of flaws but still ang importante is wala kaming give up and imong gisalig sa ta- ang tanan sa Ginoo cause God will bless your marriage abundantly just wait for it ayo ka pressure sa inyong future but you just have to wait for God's plan in your life that is right that's right that's correct Um, I like that. That when you know how to become to be faithful to God, it's easy for you to be faithful to your wife and to your husband. Because be, being faithful is no longer a challenge to you. Nahim mo na siya natural ni mo kay. First of all, you've been faithful to God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank you so much for the three of you for joining our coast over tonight. And I believe our viewers are so blessed to uh, to hear to hear from you, to hear your, your testimonies, your encouragement. And um, yeah, thank you so much for joining us today. And I hope that you'll still continue to serve God uh, with a fire, with a passion, as a single, as a relationship, and as a married um, as a married woman or man of God. Amen. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, say goodbye to our viewers. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bye, bye, bye guys. Bye, everyone. Thank you for watching. Joining with us as well this evening, Amen. I hope that you're so blessed to um, to be with us tonight. I hope that you have learned um, a lot of things that I learned in our kingdom principle and everything based on the Word of God. And no matter which season or as a mahanga season karon as a single, as a really in relationship, or you might be a married, you might be a married man or woman of God. I hope that uh, we will not going to give up to keep doing things that will going to glorify the Lord, keep serving God, keep devoting our time to the Lord, and never give in to uh, pressure to temptation. It will always be there, but it's how we handle it. So I hope that you are so blessed with our coast over, and thank you for joining with us once again tonight. Have a great day, and yeah, thank you. Goodbye.